Dum, 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 dum. Fluke. Good evening. On tonight's programme, Chelsea fall short in their meeting with Barcelona at Stamford Bridge. We've got an exclusive post-match interview with their captain, Thaddeus Remington. Also tonight, we talk to the first violinist at the London Symphony Orchestra, Clive Syphilis. Sorry, Clive Phyllis. Beg your pardon. He tells us why their last performance at the Royal Albert Hall was so poor that the Mayor of Hull decided to leave early. First though, let's go live to Chelsea captain Thaddeus Remington. Hello Thaddeus. Oh, hello Michael dear. So what went wrong out there? Wrong? Oh, you thought something was wrong? Oh, you mean the mascots again, don't you? Oh, I suppose their costumes are rather frightful. But nothing to be afraid of, Michael. Nothing to be afraid of. Uh, no, I was referring to the match itself. The loss. What happened? <laughs> oh, the match, the match, the match, the match. Oh, I'm silly, silly. What kind of footballer am I? I'd quite forgotten about the match. No, but seriously, Michael, seriously. I thought it was played in a lovely spirit. Beautiful spring evening. Mother Nature's a dream, don't you think? Um, yes, it's lovely, but surely you needed those three points. Surely that was crucial. Oh, now, Michael, don't be like that. The opposition played marvellously. Absolutely marvellously. I must tip my cap to them, if you'll pardon the pun. Um, what pun? Oh, Michael, try and keep up now. Come on. Um, OK. Well, yes, Barcelona did play well, but there was a contentious decision at the end, don't you think? Oh, now, Michael... One must side with the referee on these occasions. You can't have it all your own way, you know. And to be fair, it was a rather rash challenge from Geoffrey in defence. No offence intended, of course. <laughs> so you believe it was a penalty. How do you think your teammates will react to that? Oh, no. I hadn't thought... You don't think I'll take offence, do you? Oh, what have I said? Oh, the day as you've done it again. Never know when to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, no, he's done it again. Sorry, we don't know what happened there. We'll try and establish a line again. Now, though, let's go to the first violinist of the London Symphony Orchestra, Clive Phyllis. Hello there, Clive. Hello, Jeff. It's Karen. Oh, are you a woman? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Normally the blokes handle this sort of thing, you know. I'm sorry. Yes. Um, OK, so what do you think went wrong tonight with the performance? Well, we know the Albert Hall's a difficult place to come. Uh, and tonight we tried to play our music, but it just didn't come off for us tonight. Any idea why that might have been? Well, Sostakovich, he's a difficult composer, difficult composer to play, and uh, tonight he's just got the better of us, and there's not much we could have done about that. Yes, yeah, Sostakovich did seem to cause some problems out there for you tonight. Any particular reason why, do you think? The cellists. The cellists. I think they've let us down slightly there. He posed a specific threat through that area. We told them that, and they just didn't step up tonight, but not much you can do about that. Mm, yes, and perhaps the conductor also. Oh, well, I'm not going to name names, Jeff. We look out for each other here in this orchestra. Um... But he was fucking terrible. I mean, absolutely fucking awful. I don't know what he was thinking half the time, and I think he's cost us big time. Um, yes, I'm not sure, but in, in what way would you particularly say he was uh, below par tonight? All I'm saying is, Jeff. Karen. Karen, Jeff, whatever. He's just cost us there, and I think behind the scenes he's lost the practice room. Once that happens, very difficult to get it back. And, I mean, you saw what happened when he was trying to kick us off, you know, start us off with the stick. Uh, oh, what was it called? You're referring to the moment when his baton snapped? Oh, baton, that's it, yeah. I mean, what's he done? He's always hit it too well there, Jeff. It's unbelievable! And, I mean, I don't want to see fines given for that sort of behaviour, but I've seen them given. On the other hand, I suppose, you could argue that those decisions even themselves out over the course of a season? I mean, you could look at it that way, yeah. We've got a lot of music still to be played, uh, and hopefully we can turn it around. Great. Thanks very much. Cheers, Jeff. Karen. Merry Christmas, Mr. What do you call this? I'm asked I'd wait for to keep you this fucking test for me and the shit. How many do you need? Oh, my head. I'm sorry to use that. I don't mean for you, inconsiderate bastard. And where's the fucking stick? I bet you want some to subject it to this fancy. It's a bag of apple bites! And my girlfriend has them. Why are you being a fantastic man? I was just trying to be nice! I thought you could have been a bit more grateful. What? Well, this is a bonus. Do you have all this down into the I do have stamps. I need that bottle of fatty test. Yeah, this is what's going to happen. You can pass it. It's way too silly to make a penalty. Recently, I turned it into an exam. Uh, give me a bottle of rain around, any box of ale, some detoxy, and then kindly bring it back and fuck up.